This, my friends, is our latest trade-in. My customer traded in a 2019, uh, originally a rental car. She purchased it within the same year because they barely used it. And this vehicle is special. It's very, very different. She purchased a brand new XC60 2024, another black one as well. This one's a 2019 and it's a momentum. First off, momentum is very few momentums have this where it's just one dash, like half a dash really. There we go. Only rear view camera, but you do have park in, park out assist, and that was a absolutely terrible job by me trying to multitask here. So the new ones don't have that. New ones don't have drive modes as well. But uh, this one has a couple things that new ones don't, and this one's special for a different reason. It is a Chinese-made XC60, and the way you know is, well, first you look at the window sticker, but also it's the VIN. The VIN, well, you can't really see it tonight maybe maybe okay anyways there would be an l at the very beginning instead of just y usually it is yv if they're swedish made so <clears throat> this one has l where my wife's s90 all s90s almost all s90s all s90s now almost all s90s back in the day had l y because they're chinese made that's where the geely headquarters is that's where the main factory is for the new uh, Volvo's coming out, not all of them, but new Polestars. That's where all of the uh, Chinese manufacturers that are owned by Geely, they're producing a lot of crazy EVs. That's where the new Lotus SUV is being made. And they all look pretty similar to the Polestars, so <laughs> they're cop and Volvo. But anyways, this one, uh, the old models with the sensor system, you know, always you have auto engine stop start, new ones don't have that. The drive mode is pretty nice where automatically you have dynamic mode. New ones don't have that unless you have Polestar, but that doesn't really count because in place of this, if you did the Polestar tune, you'd have Polestar. Uh, so now you only have off-road mode or if you have a recharge, then you're able to choose between. Don't know why they did that. But one really, really neat thing about this is actually in the back because in the back, I haven't seen this ever, actually. This is the first XC60 that I've seen where usually I take a look, I glance quickly and I was like, oh, it has air suspension without even thinking about it. How can a momentum have air suspension? But I looked and I was like, oh, this is usually where you press L, I'm sorry, uh, not L, you press down for the air suspension to go down and up for it to raise an inch. And this is where usually you'd have the tow hook if you had that installed, you know, the retractable tow hook. Now, in this case, client asked me, hey, my seats, do they go down, you know, automatically? Do I not have to worry about that? Of course, you have your manual mode over here, where you just, like so, prop that up. And then from the other side as well, let me show you, because they go at different speeds as well. This is kind of cool. It's a small little thing. Oh, just barely. Scoot your pants. All right. So you are able to retract it down. You press L, and, oh, why is it not doing it? And I think the car has to be turned off for it. Let's see. Okay. And it's not working now. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there we go. You have to hold it. Oh, wow. Both of them went down. So that one went down. I actually just held down one of those buttons. When the client did it, she showed that went down a lot faster than the other one. That's because that one's heavier. But honestly, this is the first Volvo I've had with automatic retractable seats. A lot of cars have that, but I don't know why Volvo went away from it. No XC90, no XC60, no modern day one has that. Maybe it's because my seats moved too far back. Anyways, just want to show you that's kind of cool. You can always tell uh, it's a momentum by the smaller rims. But one cool thing, this one also has the retractable grocery holder. You can always tell when uh, is a previous gen by the exhaust tips. T5 used to stand actually for a would be a five cylinder turbocharged engine, but now it's just turbocharged four cylinder. My T5 S60 had that. Starting it back up again, this one's only at under 52,000 miles. So not bad for a now five year old car. You know, it's under the average. Average would be 12 to 13,000 miles per year. Also, one weird thing, I, I really like this. Volvo now goes by twos. This lets you actually choose specific. I don't know why they did that. 
it's these little things that Volvo just randomly plays around with. Why not? <laughs> you do have heated seats, heated steering wheel. Pretty much uh, client had the updated version of this. A plus, a mid trim. She did get some, so she doesn't have park in, park out assist because no XC60 has that anymore. Uh, I've never seen any new XC60 with those retractable seats, but now she gets a full dash. That's kind of nice. Now she gets a new infotainment system. You have switches here where I kind of like the sliding mechanisms and just a touch for light. That's kind of cool in the new Volvos. Uh, you do have a mild hybrid battery where this is just internal combustion engine, so it's a little bit quieter. It saves you an extra mile to the gallon. I do wish there was still a drive mode, but maybe it's there because it's, it's a little cleaner. Who knows? Uh, one thing that she was very excited about is she has front sensors in a front camera now, 360 degree camera, bird's eye view. So that was one of those things that was like, okay, cool. Uh, of course you have memory for the driver, but also memory for passenger, which now it's only in the higher trims. So old momentums used to go crazy. That's because this one has, I believe a convenience package. So it has a lot of extra cool goodies where using momentum wouldn't have home link and whatnot. So you're going to have a lot of awesome stuff happening here. Anyways, this vehicle, I don't know what we're going to list it for. I don't even remember what we uh, gave for the trade-in, but I'm just assuming based off the mileage, based off where it's at, it's probably going to be a low 20s vehicle. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. For, for the price point of these bad boys, you are able to get a lot. So anyways, this one needs to go through a detail. Just came in. Uh, we are very excited to have them here. We are trying to get as many XC60s as we can now. And there it is from... The X tier looks pretty good. I love those lights. Look at that. Oh man, that's just solid. Yeah, that looks awesome. So, and in comparison, that's recharged based off those rims. But now you have a different grill for all the XC60s compared to that, where now you have bright only for XC90s. So that's kind of a mix of bright and just the normal, the old fashioned grills, where now it's a dark, R design themed sporty grill. That's also an older one. This one's an inscription, so you can tell by the larger rims. Different grill. This one's got the beige interior and the Napa leather as well. So anyways, just wanted to show you that. One of the first Chinese-made XC60 I've seen, the first one with retractable seats. It's the small things, I guess. And uh, our XC40, they're now making a black edition of the XC40. You know, eventually they're gonna have black edition pretty much for everything. So anyways, thanks for watching, have a good one, take care. Look at that. That's gorgeous.